Hello guys, from today we are going to learn C programming. I have made videos for the beginners who just start to learn C. Before we learn to code C programs, let's have a look at a presentation that gives basic knowledge to a beginner. Let's have a look. Please make a note of the highlighted words I have made here, which provided some important and basic knowledge about the C programming. It made available with the applications of C programming, discovery, history, and what a program need to be instructed by, like keywords, constant variables, etc. One need to install Visual Studio Code with all the executable file provided by the compiler, inbuilt compiler. Okay, that's what I have given to the users who have seen the video. Now, let's have a look at our first C program, which is basic. program let's have a look here the very first line of a code that need to be included in every in every program that we have made that is hash include stdio.h here stdio.h is a standard input output header file which need to be included so that our main function works as an executable file and the given expressions or set of statements executed on behalf of the SCDIOS file. Here I have print four lines. Here these four lines. Line number nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They are a different printf statement. Printf stands for print formatted. Print formatted means it provided with the output that a compiler reads and give as an output to the user and displayed it at a compiler. I have provided some comments too which have provided with the basic knowledge for different keywords or we can say header files we use in a code. Here this one is provided for a multi-line command this one abstract backslash backslash abstract this is for multi-line command and backslash is double backslash is for single line command let's have a look at our first program and run it here you can see different four outputs isn't it available by the users see line number nine here printf hello world printf hello world while the execution of the file made a main dot o runs the code and compile with the executable file and look for printf statement that is behold in the stdio.h file and print hello void here in the output here forward slash n means what does this mean that our next 
statement need to be printed in the next line. Next look for printf statement where I have declared percentile s. What does this mean percentile s? This is a declaration for a printed word that I have made that hello world is a string. So it provided with the output hello world. Next <laughs> printf statement. I have given with percentile D where it means percentile D for integer value here percentile D provided with the integer value will give the output for the memory allocation or the ID need by the printf statement stored in a code next printf statement percent <laughs> <laughs> prints hello world not hello world but it printed capital small d why so because we have provided with percentile c here the declaration made by percentile c is for a character For the beginners who are watching this video, please do not just watch the video. Install Visual Studio Code with compatible executable file to run the code. And start learning with Saran Stack. Next. I have mentioned here uh, I have mentioned here not some important thing which is these all are code not a program program is a set of code while we have provided here is a set of instruction that is made to be a code so this is the basic difference between program and a code next we are going to learn some basic info here integer a what is this means this means we have provided variable a and we have declared this variable a to be of integer type here if we enter printf enter a number printf enter a number let's look have at the output wait for a while see here printf enter a number is printed in the next line I have provided with scanf what does this scanf means it reads the given input and add to a memory allocation that is percentile d I have provided and it is given with m strong a isn't it this one if we provided it with 4 and press enter it gives nothing why because we have provided here percentile s if we provided here percentile d let's have a look at the code again if we printed per 4 entered number is 4 why is it shows the difference we have made percentile s and percentile d to make the beginners aware of the uses we have made in the code so that the perfect output provided by the compiler next made it comment to for our execution of next command here we go this is our next code here.
star A means we have declared a variable A with a character type. Here we have seen we have provided variable A with a character type. So while we enter a value here let's print D. Entered character is 100. Why is it so? Here we have print f percent d for a variable a but the declaration is of character type but here if we print for percentile d that is it gives the output for an integer value here since we enter d so the output is 100 why it is so here is percentile D and in memory allocation D D we have entered has a certain value according to ASCII which is 100 so it print 100 if we print here write here C and then run and print D it gives perfectly D so that's how we make differences and beginner need to learn all these things very carefully to be a good programmer. Coding Here we go CD Entered string is CD We are provided with declaration character, isn't it? But here we provided with string 2. str2 means we have declared a string variable percentile s for this string, which can enter only two value in its memory allocation, and the output is there. Okay. Let's have a look at our last code, but not the least. I will be provided with more videos if I have been supported by many users. Next, have a look to our last code. Here we have bool. Bool refers to boolean declaration of A equals to true. We have given an expression for an boolean expression. And here we print percentile D. So this percentile D prints 1 that is boolean expression for given input is 1 isn't it let's change this to percentile yes let's have a look what will happen it gives nothing why it is so because boolean expression always is stored as integer value that is 0 or 1 nothing else it will print to run boolean expression one need to include a standard boolean header file in their code so that's all for today. This is our first basic coding I have made so that the beginners can learn from it. Thank you so much. Please share, subscribe and comment to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.